we are getting right back where we left off with season one and currently a succession war is going on what happened last episode basically a bunch of boomers are beefing <laughs> with a bunch of toddlers because you know ours is a child and a bunch of nepotism at this point the bureaucracy is making the old people commit a child for speaking some actual facts and we have proposed this solution the, the original intent was to attack somewhere else but if we do that we're left vulnerable so how do we counter that by asking help from the empire right we're going to the empire doing some talks basically bribe them i think in a way so that they'll have our ass if we're kind of unprotected as i think the gist of what's going on there was some confusion going on for me of the show because i truly still am unfamiliar with like the geography and the whole ruling system but the succession war doesn't have to do with the emperor no 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 this is an empire where the emperor is a young person and there's a bunch of puppeteers, you know, handling that shit. But beneath that, then there's other like feudal nobilities, I think. And there's some sort of like succession war happening in a specific like area around some sort of like kingdom, I think. I'm not completely sure, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Are we taking a boat? It's gonna be a long trip. サイ、パラダイル州との仲介を依頼。州を我々の味方につける。あ、そう、ゲームプラン。そして、その交渉はリシア。リシアを蹴り。オーソ、ウェア、メリー。それほどでもないですわ。でも子供だからね。ご安心
A wife's duty, guys. Lisha OP. She's a genius. <laughs> She's been reading up on the books, huh? Oh, that's so cute. It's it's like I I think this like humanizes her more rather than just being this like omnipotent lolly that knows everything. She does her due diligence. She's working hard. Look at the little bookmark she has to remind her of the different things. That's like very important, bro. She's doing her homework. <laughs> True. Charlotte needs to get her own, man. She's way too jealous. Alright, let's go. Castle Simplot. What? Oh, we already know. We already know. Ours getting hard carried. Smooth operator. No. Alicia is the smooth operator. To be honest, she's incredible. I'm hardly worthy of her. At least he's very aware. Oh. <laughs> doki doki rom com scenes. <laughs> I don't think this is that type of show, but like this just screams death flags and bad shit about to happen, right? Like if this should happen to ReZero, like Alicia or Ars is gonna die, you know? Like just having little fun. Oh wow, you kids! Wow, you're already like married. So cute and wholesome. Wow, hee <laughs> hee. No, this is slice of life moments. You're getting set up to just die. But in this show, I think it's different. I don't think that kind of like consequences will happen in this show based on what I've seen in season one. Ice-kun? Who are you? Ice is from Danmachi. Eldest son. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, dude, who did he say this to? Did, haven't seen you in a while in a Lumia. He's, he's saying this to Lumia. Okay, 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 okay. I'm like... <laughs> What a fucking show! Immediately just making fun of Wei. I I think that that wasn't awkward, right? That was like smooth, right? I think he's supposed. Is he supposed to be like very confident and smooth, or is this like him trying to seem smooth but accidentally pissing people off and kind of cringe by the little pause here and the face this guy's making? <laughs> that, that seemed a little awkward, right? <laughs> he's a bit of an idiot. <laughs> I feel like this is like, he has maybe a heart of gold, but he doesn't know how to read the room, so he comes off like rude or not funny or cringe. Stats. What's the stats? What the fuck? You skipped it. Can you use your appraisal skill on my son and let me know if I should disown him or not? Yeah. What is that? We didn't get to see it though. What's he good at? Sounds like you failed at parenting. Him. Yeah, what's he good at? What? Potential? Eh. These, 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 these letter stats are pretty fucking shit, but the, but the number cap, uh, yeah, he could be pretty decent. Like, like, look at the diplomacy part, right? Look at the 31 out of 91. It truly shows, like, he has potential, but, like, it's just coming off cringe. That's why it's so high. But, like, the cap, the potential is high, but what he is right now is so bad, right? So, leadership as well, right? Like, he's not really meant to be a fighter. It doesn't matter. You don't need to be a fighter. But in terms of ambition, diplomacy, what makes it be a ruler, like, you, you could do it. Oh, that's right. All right. We gotta take a ship. We're taking the ocean route. The fish market. Oh, you're gonna buy it for me? Aww. Is that a dolphin plushie? I think it is. 
I'm like, is she actually hugging a raw fucking dolphin thing? No, no, no. It's a dolphin plushie doll. The orphans. I forgot about them. Oh, fancy jewelry. You like that shit? You want that? Buying what he wants for his lady. I got this. Damn, what? True. We haven't even given him a ring for yet. It's a temporary ring. Temporary badge. Again, like, <laughs> bro, if this shit happens in anime, like, like something bad's gonna happen. You know, <laughs> like having slice of life moments and buying gifts. Like that is one of the most biggest flags. Like. I don't think something bad will happen in this show to, to the degree of badness that I think is going to happen. Like, maybe something else is going to happen, but, like, I don't think she's going to die. But you start buying gifts, you start going on dates before, like, a big war or something. Holy shit, these are death flags. Prince. This fucking idiot. He's gonna be your downfall, bro. Because of him, everyone will die back home. He's gonna fuck shit up. He's gonna ruin it. Oh no. Oh no. Well, like, like, at best, he'll, like, be corrected and learn how to be a true leader. At worst, he fucks up the negotiations. Then we get fucked from both sides of Vastmark's forces and Sate's forces. And Lamberg will be the first one to all die. Everyone that you saw in season one, all of those kind old people in the villages and the children, they're all gonna get trampled because of this guy. If shit goes wrong. Wrong name, bro. Still fucking up the name. Everyone has seasickness. Says you. Yo, pirates. What? That's a good idea. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, 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 we're fucked. These dudes are bad. That single smile right there. <laughs> no! Damn, she melted the fucking blade. Let's go! Charlotte OP. Bald. That is pretty sick, right? Obviously, Leisha can't do this. Leisha's not suited for that. And Charlotte's not suited for diplomacy. But she's good at many other things like this. Pirates. Hmm. Is it a good idea to hope for redemption here for these kids? Because I get it, right? The sun is like to the gallows you will be hung for your crimes but ours is trying to see the best in people and maybe these people can be of valuable asset for us in the future i probably would have just executed them right because like they fucked with us first but is this like too idealistic and naive because who's to say they can't just betray us again i get it that in an idealistic show like this things are just going to work out but in reality like do you think that these people could just turn over a new leaf yeah, they're struggling. They're just struggling merchants, fishermen. Imperial capital, empire mentioned. Classic empires and poverty. Interest rate. Yeah, at this point, I'd probably listen to them, right? Assuming they're not lying, if their background story actually makes sense, I think there's potential for redemption, for sure. Did he just rip off some buttons off of his jacket? And it's those simple jacket buttons are three gold coins? 
bro is wearing, like his entire outfit is more valuable than like all these people's families combined. Bro, ours is drip. I never realized how fucking rich he is. I mean, yeah, ours is like the lord now, right? He's always a rich family. Alone. No interest. No interest. Prove me. Prove me right. That's the thing, right? Can a lord who doesn't trust his people expect to earn their trust back, right? If these were a shitty... Like, like, this situation could go so wrong. I understand what they're trying to do. The storytelling right now is the difference in ideals and mindsets of two potential rulers. One is a naive one who is... No, I think they're both naive to a degree. He's saying no, bad guy bad. And this guy's saying no, bad guy could be good. But it all depends on what kind of person they are. And right now, their backstory matches up. And I, I believe that the bad guys could be good. But there's also potential that these dudes could have been lying. And they're just fucking baiting and preying on the naivety and the idealisms of ours. And shit could go even more wrong. What happens if they accidentally fucking killed Leisha in the future? Because we gave him a second chance, right? Wouldn't be fucking happy about this. So this specific example obviously works towards Ars's favor. But I think that there's like a fine line between being like a rightful, righteous, good leader and like naivety. Like if you're too kind, I don't know, man. Yeah. He's the bigger man. Maybe. Aris. Bro's still fucking our name up. <laughs> what a gullible kid he says afterwards. Which I think means... Like, I think that they're obviously still struggling, but that what a gullible kids while clutching onto it means I feel like I can't betray your expectations now because you've shown me such kindness. Like, this is crazy how gullible you are, but even if you are, I will repay the favor because you've shown me kindness. <laughs> bye bye. Watch them come clutch in the future, man. Like, these dudes will 100% come clutch in the future. No, no, like, like, there's no reason to bring them up and set them up like that if there's no payoff. They will show up and then they'll help us when we're in the need. Hi. Oh. We're in the Empire. <laughs> He's not listening. Oh my god. Classic, bro. Any shield is an empire, it's always just poverty everywhere. Right? Name one empire in the history of anime where people were thriving all across the board. Right? Like, they're always fucking suffering. Mm. Exactly, right? It's always like the greatest wealth cap you've ever seen in these kind of situations. And this is actually exactly my city that I live in in Vancouver, where basically Vancouver is like so fucking expensive to live in. But at the same time, the weather is the most hospitable. So all the homeless people will basically go towards the west or the east coast and we're in the west coast it's like nicer weathers to survive so you have basically gucci stores louis vuitton stores and a bunch of rich people like shopping in it then immediately outside you have homeless people taking shit and like injecting themselves full of drugs it's just what an amazing city to live in truly what happens when you have such high cost of living and this is it no one can fucking thrive except the top percent. Mm -hmm. Late stage capitalism, baby. But this is an empire. And you're the one that's even more stupid to assume that it's gonna be easy, but I bet your ass is gonna get fucking dunked on going into thinking it's easy. The next day. Chapter 1 of the art of the deal that Li Xie has read from Donald Trump's magnum opus, The Art of the Deal. Be dripped. <laughs> Have good drip. <laughs> Aesthetics matter. First impressions are all about how you look, how you present yourself. If you don't check that initial just look check of the aesthetics, you've already failed. Art of the deal, baby. You need to look good. 
どうぞこちらへお待ちしてましたあの方が皇帝陛下に似ているというシャクマ知略と政治えぇ means 28? He's a really young ruler, huh? Um, this is all trash, but you don't need that because he's a ruler. Ambition 90, diplomacy 77 out of 88. Basically, yeah, this is it's not even fucking close, bro. Like, compare the sun versus this guy, like, maybe the potential is the same, but what their stats are right now, not even fucking close. This guy is cracked. パラダイル州との交渉の結果に頼みたいということです。商談と行きましょう。ノーマルスマールトーク。レッツゴー。しますその前に名乗ってちゃん直期総督の連軍されまきやである。連されまきやのご子息か。交渉成立のためにどなた
陛下が仲介してくださるということでよろしいので聞いていれ Really? You settled at 1000? Shakma literally settled at 1000 We still have half the budget to work with たいこと金貨なら2000枚持ってきたではないか We should kill him. <laughs> Let's kill him. <laughs> What the fuck? How are you this dumb? How? How is it possible? You were literally in the same meeting table and we were talking about the negotiations. How? What do you mean? Why? How the fuck do you come up with this logic? <laughs> ブロ申し訳ございませんあ、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
please just get him out of here anytime he's with us it's just so fucking nerve-wracking oh. Thank fucking god, the Shakmak only cares about money and he doesn't care about the loyalty and shit, right? He, he could care less. I think this guy is all about the fucking bag and he doesn't really care and he's just trying to see like what mission's all about. But to fucking leak this shit, you're so lucky Shakmak doesn't care right now. What the fuck? How stupid? Stupid could you possibly be? Everything that comes out of your fucking mouth just surpasses my understanding of how stupid you are. Like, you haven't even shown me your true retardation yet. This is the best part. We're gonna get even more fucking mad. Mishan is cooked with this guy being the ruler. A little trouble? A little trouble? No, that was... Insane trouble. Leisha clutched for us so hard. If Leisha, bro, this guy needs to get fucking deported right now. Send him home. Thank God Leisha is a giga brain. It was a part of the plan. No, I don't think it was all part of the plan. I think that what Leisha did there at the end was insurance that she came up with the backup plan because she was anticipating that, you know, the other guy to be a fucking idiot. The tea sipping here is fucking magnificent, but she's saying this to make this guy doesn't look bad right now. But even then, I bet he doesn't even fucking understand what's happening. I bet he has no clue that Leisha is literally protecting him because she said that as insurance, but at the end of the day, like, she expected this guy to fuck up. Like, this dude absolutely fucking sucks. I hate this guy. This this dude can literally go die in a fucking hole. And, this, and the worst part is, I hate him more than the actual bad people. Because he's actively undermining us while being on our side. That shit pisses me off most. Vasmark and everyone else that's against us, sure, they're evil. It's expected from them. But this fucking retard is the son of the dude that we're working with. And he fucking snuck up into our ship. It's the worst. It's the absolute fucking worst to have an idiot like him that thinks that he's a good person, that thinks he's on our side, but actively undermine us at every step of the way. Fucking infuriating. I should have been up to... I, the moment that you guys were like, oh shit, it's this guy, it's this guy. I'm like, is he that bad? Yes. He is that bad. And yeah, I'm sure he's going to go through an amazing character development, understand his, you know, shortcomings, and he'll return being a person capable of ruling Mishan. But like, goddamn, right now, it is the worst part. Yes, the worst part, I don't think he realizes he's a monkey. You're understanding what I hate the most. What I hate the most is unaware of people that thinks that they're so fucking smart, never doubting themselves, but they're an actual fucking clown, like Yamauchi from Classroom of the Elite. Just like these pompous retards that have no aware awareness of their intellect, that act so proudly and confidently, that shit pisses me off than actually like than actual other stupid people, right? Like it's 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 just like it is the most infuriating thing. I wonder what kind of redemption he's gonna have, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.